imagine that we lived in Venice, right? Have you ever been to Venice? So Venice is, canals are to Venice what roads are to London, right? So you go, you go everywhere. I mean, there, you can walk over bridges and stuff, but canals go everywhere. Canals, people get canal boat, they get a boat to work, they get a boat to the pub. Canals, so imagine you lived in Venice, and now I want you to just close your eyes, not if you're driving, close your eyes and imagine that the, the road outside your house was a canal, all right? Have you done that? The road outside your house is a canal, okay? Now, some of your neighbours have got their toilets plumbed directly into the canal, and some of them have got their toilets plumbed into the sewage system, which takes it away to treatment plants where it is cleaned and rendered safe. OK, now that is a throwback to an era where we didn't prioritise water cleanliness as highly as we do now. So can you see your canal outside your house? All right. Dirty Gertie at number 30. Her toilet goes directly into the canal outside your house. And on a Sunday morning when it's been curry night the night before, my God, you know about it. Dirty Gertie at number 30's toilet outlet is about 12 yards from your front door. If you've got the window open overnight, you can, you, can you can tell what she had for tea. All right? That's Dirty Gertie at number 30. So let's say that maybe 15, 20% of the houses on your road are plumbed directly into the canal, whereas 80 to 85% of them see their sewage, see the poo and wee-wee making its way into the sewage system and then being taken away. Along comes Sadiq Khan, right? Or indeed the, 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 the councils or the mayors in, in all the other places that have got successful ULO schemes. And he insists that if you don't plumb your toilet into the sewers instead of the canal, dirty gertie at number 30, then we're going to start charging you. The only way we can get you to change your behaviour is by penalising you for not changing it. We've done incentives. Here's some money to help you install a new toilet. Hopefully it'll be, it'll be more than enough to do the job. We won't actually end up out of pocket at all. But if you don't do it, if you leave your toilet plumbed into the canal, we're going to charge you £12.50 a day until you get it sorted. All right? Now, would anybody turn around at that point and say that's a money-making scheme, that is? Nobody wants these people to change their plumbing arrangements. They're just trying to raise money out of Dirty Gertie at number 30's lavatory. It's just stupid to claim that. I mean, truly stupid. I apologise if, if you believe it or you've fallen for that, because I am calling you stupid. But I'm only saying it's stupid to believe it. I'm not saying you are a stupid person, because if you were a stupid person, you'd still believe it, after I've just explained to you why it's stupid. And now you know why it's stupid. You no longer believe it. Therefore, you're not a stupid person. So that's what they're doing. That, to me, is what the ULES is. Except it's not water into which filth is being pumped. It's the air we breathe. To the point where we know that it causes deaths. Now, you can dispute the statistics, but don't dispute them with your Auntie Doris's Facebook page. Dispute them with the scientists, the, the, the consensus of scientists on the issue. Look at what they say. Look at what they urge. Look at what the doctors say. Don't look at what some I don't know, 15-minute city crusader says, or, or, or some anti-vaxxer. Look at what the doctors say. Unless, of course, when your kid gets sick, you're going to take them to a consultation with a GBB's presenter instead of with a GP. If that, if that is your true choice, oh, I'll, trust, I'll trust him to do it, not her. That's fine. If, that, if that's the choice you want, well, actually, it's not. We should phone social services. But if you get sick and you're going to go to a Facebook forum instead of to a doctor, then I guess you have a point. But... That, to me, is, is, is the fundamental point here. I'm quite pleased with that. Oh, James, uh, I'm so happy having this conversation. First of all, my stance on the ULEZ yes. is totally un unnecessary. And I'd love you to stop making out like it's a right-wing attitude. That I didn't. I never said that. To... Well, you kind of... All right, no, no, I didn't. Way. I, 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 I contrasted okay, between the scientists and the all doctors who say that it's necessary MOT, and the put people it on the MOT, who didn't. And that will clean the whole air of London with no extra charges. Do it this that is why way I don't do ULES phone-ins. Sorry? This is why I don't do ULES phone-ins. 
Anyway, let me say something about Keir Starmer. All right. Keir Starmer, even though I disagree with this ULEZ thing, because once you've got LTN... This is why I don't do them. You should, yeah, He's right, off again. Go, you just literally it, said you were going to talk right. about something interesting okay, and you've okay. gone back to this again. All right. Keir Starmer, as yeah. far as I'm concerned, yeah. right, everyone thinks he's going to win. He's not going to win. Right. The guy is weak. This, his stance on this yeah. does not surprise me. I'm West Indian. I was brought up a but Labour you like supporter. his stu- you like his stance. He's just he's, he's stepped back from supporting the thing that you're opposed to. No, no, no. Listen to me. Don't I am. That's how I. Up. That's how I, I know said, what you just said. It does not surprise me. Yeah. And I tell you why. Yeah. I tell you why. If it was someone else, they would look at the whole thing about cleaning air in London, right? Right. In a different way. It's always got to be about money. There's a different way to do it. That's a lot fairer. Let me but read you something. Let, 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 let me, let me know, no, 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 John, let, I have to speak now, you, John, because that's what people what, tune yeah. in for. OK, yeah. here is, here's, here's a story from last month. Hundreds of doctors have urged politicians to stand firm on initiatives to tackle air pollution, warning that they see its devastating health consequences in patients mm-hmm. on a daily basis. Air pollution is the okay. single largest environmental risk to public health, linked oh, to okay. between 28,000 and 36,000 UK deaths a year. The estimated okay. cost to the NHS and social care of air pollutants is estimated okay. to be £1.6 billion pounds between okay. 2017 and 2025. Oh, okay. So that's that's where I okay. get my... Right, right. Can I re- Respond to you. No, one not, no, you can't answer respond the question until I've asked it. No, that, that, that's yeah, go impossible, go isn't it? Question, so that's where I get my information from. In two sentences, where do you get yours from? My information is for driving, right, and right. living in London. Wait a second, right, and seeing the problem what's happening right now. Okay. Right. Yeah. And right now. So you so get your you information. No, you keep saying, wait a second. I've listened no, to you talk a lot and you haven't said anything trying, remotely interesting yet. Because you have a thing so, called LTNs. Oh, he's done it okay, again. James? So where do you get no, your information you from you about the medical establishment's that's approach that's to clean air legislation? Where do you go for your information, mate? You see, you do this. I oh, know. It's so annoying, isn't it? I insist that you answer yeah, no, substantive listen. questions okay, instead so of whining on about LTNs. Where do you I'm go? Dis- no, wait a second. No, wait I'm not second. waiting a second. I'm, I'm giving you one more I chance to answer the question. Where do not, you go? I, I go to doctors. I am not disagreeing good. with what you're saying. Well, okay? good. Stop flipping it, John. I mean, honestly, it's as if you decided today to prove to everybody listening why I have such, such, such historical antipathy to conversations of subjects like this. I did a 22-minute introduction trying to steer clear of the rocks onto which you've just steered our collective vessel. It's a conversation about Keir Starmer's approach to politics. You don't like him because he changes his mind. He's just changed his mind to agree with you. But LTN, 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 LTN. 28 after 11. Steve's in Sheffield. Steve, pressure's on, mate. I might abandon this subject in the the next news bulletin if you don't raise the bar a bit. No, I apologise, but I think the problem is, James, when yes. we speak quietly to people, they get angry when we don't believe them. Yes. And I think also applying the O'Brien elf sometimes doesn't work. What's as that? In the evidence, logic and facts. No, on this. Well, Which I guess the evidence, logic, logic and facts, facts. Are, are a bit debatable, but on the question of Starmer's apparent Starmer, flip-flopping. So I personally, I think it's either blinder. Well, you do. not saying much in general. OK, he can't lose the North. He can't lose the Red Wall. Yeah. He's getting a lot of the moderate Tories at the moment because they're kind of going, and Tories aren't an option. The hardcore Tories aren't really liking Sunak because he's not far enough right for them. The right-wing media need something to latch on with Stomach because they've got nothing. Yes. After the, the random curry that they tried to batter, yes. they've got nothing. So Starmer's keeping himself quiet. He can't say too much because he needs the red wall. He can't say too much on the other side because the right-wing media will attack him. So actually, but this, this, is, of- this is the problem I have. Uh, at some point, because this is what frustrated me so well, one of the things that frustrated me so much about Jeremy Corbyn, at some point they're going to have to stand up and win some of these fights with the right-wing media, aren't they? No, and- he will. He will. When it comes to the election, and you've, I think the legal is at three months, They've got to have the same airtime to put policies yes. across. That's when he can, because that's when he knows he can get his argument across. Then, if well, that's when he becomes prime minister, then he can put things out. To so the you're, you're, so that's to. where I was, and that's where I want to be. You think the mask comes off when he when he gets power when he gets into Downing? 
street. But also, he gets to put more of his policies across. You don't go and give your team sheet away. No. Too far before a and, game. And actually, there is a logic to what you say, because what, what is the point of having this fight now? I heard John, George Monbiot on with Nick earlier, and, and he was saying, well, because you won't have a mandate when you get into Danish. I disagreed, actually. I thought, well, it doesn't matter, because... You're going to bring it in. It'll be like you, Les, was in London. Everyone will kick off about it, and then it'll happen, and everyone will be, oh, well, exactly. that's, that's gone all right then. That's and gone quite well. people have very short memories. They certainly do. Of, you say stuff now, they'll forget about it in months' time. You've got to batter it and batter it when you've got equal media time. When it yeah, comes you might to be election. onto something here. Mark's out of 10 for my sewage analogy. Uh, I'd give it about an 8, oh. to be fair. Oh, we were getting yeah. on so well. <laughs> no, 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 I, 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 I thought it was. I know oh, it's all right, mate. I thought it was an eleven.